Hello, people of the world, and welcome to today's episode of Coffee Chats with Jax. For those of you who don't already know, we are in the middle of a series called Be Free, which is about the book that I wrote and published last year called Be Free, which is my journey overcoming shame and depression and stepping into a life of freedom and learning what grace means and who Jesus is. The chapter we are on today for my series is called Tension. I wrote this chapter Tension last year based on a specific event. Pretty much everybody in this room thought one way about Christianity and one way about the Bible. And in a lot of those ways that they believed, I thought were amazing, but then there were a lot of really core parts about that that I disagreed with and was uncomfortable by. And I was confused because I thought that, okay, if everybody in this one room thinks this one way, but I think another way, then I must be wrong. If everyone here involving like big, highly esteemed church leaders and elders and pastors and all my friends and all these people, they all think this one thing, like how could what I feel be right compared to what they feel? And there was a big part of me that felt like I needed to like blend in and ignore the tensions and ignore the questions and the uncomforts that I was feeling and just jump in the pool and just see what happened. A lot of the time in my past, I've had a really hard time in conflict and I don't trust myself to make the right decisions and I feel like other people need to make decisions for me because I don't trust my own feelings. Making the decision on what to do about this thing that I was involved in, I was scared. You guys, when we're in situations like that and we're in a tension that is really uncomfortable and that we, I guess, sometimes are afraid to dig deeper into, ask harder questions, but instead of doing that, we kind of just go with the flow. I get it that that's convenient and that's safe and that's less scary, but a lot of the time I think that Jesus is in our questions. I think a lot of the time he wants us to ask the harder questions and he wants us to dig into the tensions because the Bible doesn't make a lot of sense sometimes. I'm gonna be real with you right now and tell you that like the irony of me making this video right now is that this past week I have been in this phase, which I get into these phases quite often where I get really like knowledge hungry and I want to understand the whys behind everything and I dig and I dig and I read article and ask this person and this person and want everyone's opinion on these questions because I want to find out what the truth is. I want to know what's right. I don't want to be deceived. And it's been a bit overwhelming and there's a lot of tensions that I don't know if I'll ever find an answer to. I don't know if I'll ever find a resolution to. And so what I've had to like learn to have peace with this week is that what do I know is true? I know that Jesus is love. I know that he is the son of God and I know that he died for me and in him I find life. Jesus is love and he is grace. He is peace. That's what I know to be true. There's a whole lot of other stuff out there in the world that one person says this and another person says this and this church denomination thinks this way and this church denomination thinks that way. And it gets overwhelming because it's like, how could there be so many different branches and interpretations and this and that of this one man named Jesus and his story and what that means for me. And I get scared because I don't want to kick the wrong way. I don't want to listen to the wrong information. And sometimes the questions that I have, I'm afraid to ask because I'm scared that I won't like the answers that I find. But this week I learned that asking the questions is good. That it's actually good to find rest there. That I don't think all of it is black and white. I think there are many different perspectives and I, I'm open to hearing whatever it is that's out there. But I have to know what is true for me. I have to know the core thing for why I believe what I believe. And if I'm around something that makes me uncomfortable, no matter who thinks what, no matter who is on this side, I don't have to be a part of things that I'm not convicted are true. Tension is inevitable, but that's okay. I have to know what really matters to me and I have to be certain in that and the rest I'm gonna learn as I go. A friend told me yesterday that sometimes people are so scared of thinking that they're gonna fall off. But the truth is Jesus isn't just in the wagon. He's also in the dirt, in the trees, in the sky on the ground, in the ocean. He's in the areas that we're afraid to go. He's in the questions we're afraid to ask. If something makes you uncomfortable, speak it. If you're wondering something, ask. Like I ask more questions than anyone ever and sometimes I get really insecure about it, but lately I'm really learning to like that about myself. I wanna find out what's true. I wanna know why I believe what I believe. It's a bumpy road. And at the end of the day, I have to remember that no matter what questions get left without resolve, I'm still okay. 
I'm still loved, I'm still known, and I honestly don't think a whole entire lifetime on earth can answer all the questions that we have and that we find. But the important thing in all of that is that we're loved, we are known, we are celebrated, we are gifted without a doubt. That is something that I don't want to sway from. Everything else, I believe, is secondary to that. I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks for being in this journey with me. I know that I have a lot of questions. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Thanks for figuring this out along with me. If you'd like to read my book, Be Free, that I've been making these videos about, or order the discussion questions that I am making this video series to, feel free to reach out to me at jackiegtv 7 at gmail.com or just leave a comment below and I will get that information out to you ASAP. I love you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.